guys welcome back welcome back yes yes i know this is a long awaiting video so today i'm gonna show you guys how i make this face mask to remove my spots and stubborn razor bumps i make it three different ways to help me and i also use it under my arms and on my private part as well as on my tummy to lighten up my stretch mark yes they were big and dark <laughs> but you all know i have to bring you all some before and after pictures listen guys I never showed these pictures to anyone before, but here I am showing the world. Oh my God. But if I can help 10 people with my routine, I don't feel bad about it. So I started my hair routine first. And by me taking a lot of videos and pictures, sending them to my family members, I see how bad my face was. So I invested in the famous Proactive. Man, let me tell you guys, that, that break me out worse. Like it break acne all over my face. So I tried a Neutrogena for a stubborn acne. It still did not work. And after trying all of those, plus many more that did not work for me, I remember back in the days, my auntie used to use curry and toothpaste. Yes, guys, curry and toothpaste for her dark spots and to lighten the stretch mark. On her tummy as well as using it between her legs to lighten and help the um, stretch mark you know after you're pregnant you get all them stuff yeah not even pregnant when you lose weight as well so here I am doing the same thing but instead I'm using the turmeric instead of the curry the curry is a little spicy up here I see so I know some of you maybe know about this turmeric and curry or curry and toothpaste and lemon and all them stuff but i just want you guys to see how i make mine is what i say i make mine three different ways and guys i like to bring you all before and after pictures i want you all to see where my face was and yes i do have other pictures that <laughs> i don't want i don't really want to put out there because they're really bad so i think these are really bad too but not as bad as the ones that i have so here is my face guys i was looking right now so here i am with my brown sugar and granulated sugar you can use any one but i like use the white sugar but when i don't have the white sugar i use the brown one the turmeric you can find it in the bottle or you can also find it in a bag whichever one they <laughs> works the same way and as what i say curry is as good as the turmeric but the ones that I'm finding here in the state is way too spicy to use on my face, but they do work the same. So if you can find an unspicy curry, taste it first, guys. You can use it if you do not have the turmeric to use. So honey is optional. If you don't have it, it's okay. But if you do, you can use any brand you want. Vitamin E oil, lemon, and toothpaste yep and my little containers and my little stick to mix them so you can see one looks thinner than the other yep the one that looks thinner i use it on my stubborn here so first i'm gonna go ahead and mix my toothpaste and turmeric just two ingredients for this i use under my chin to remove the dark marks those were so stubborn <laughs> and under my arms for my dark marks that I leave after i use i'm gonna show you guys in the next video and my stretch mark as well as on my tummy after having three kids back to back my stretch mark was big and black and this is what helped me to remove them so i'm gonna go ahead and mix it out yes it's gonna be a little thick and you're gonna see i had a little water just to loosen it up a little bit because remember the toothpaste is a little thick and then the turmeric is powder so yeah you just go ahead and make sure you mix up the toothpaste with the turmeric to get it all together yes when you put it on your face it's gonna feel a little minty but um after a while it's just like brushing your teeth you know after you brush your teeth with colgate toothpaste you can taste the the minty the minty taste that's how it's gonna feel but it's nothing to damage your skin or anything guys i use this my hand to use it with a curry and it looks perfectly fine like it, it's okay because you all see my face and i'm gonna show you guys the next video showing you how um 
how much days out of the week I use it and how long I let it sit on my face. I just did not want to bring you guys a long video. I want you guys to see the ingredients that I use. So here I am going to put just a little water in there, you know, just to loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, because it was a little thicker. So that's how it's looking. Yeah. So there we go. And with this, guys, you can always leave this one here. No matter how much days, it's still okay. So here I am with my granulated sugar. And this one here, I try to mix it when I need it. So I'm just going to make one use. One teaspoon of granulated sugar one teaspoon of honey and for the turmeric i eyeball my turmeric as well as the lime juice i eyeball those and as what i say guys this is just gonna be for one use and guys let me explain something with this one here i make sure you use this like this was my original routine the turmeric with the honey, the lemon, and the sugar. This is what I use to clear up my um, razor bump under my chin and my acne over my face. But it wasn't removing the spots as fast as I wanted to. The lemon did help me dry up a lot of the um, razor bump under my chin. But one thing I did, I steamed my face, my face first. I'm going to bring you guys a video showing you guys. And you all can use this in between after like... <sighs> I'm gonna bring you guys a, a video showing you guys how I use it but um this one here you can use it in between you can use it under your eyes is you if you have the dark mark under the honey you can use it it's, it's optional you can use it if you want but I only use the vitamin E with the turmeric in between and with this you can use it if you have the dark mark under your eye the dark circles and you can also use it around your neck as what i say consistent guys i use mine three times per a week and with a toothpaste and a turmeric this is what really 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 helped me with all those dark marks like they get them away but do not use that under your eye or on your cheek there no you don't want to use it on the lead there <laughs> you do not so um yes guys this is my face routine and um with the video that i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you guys how i use it what i do before i use them and this is how my hands are looking it's not stain my face is not stain afterward and i'm going to show you guys what i use after i finish all that so guys these are products that i used to use as well and when i'm buying product i buy them a whole lot because i feel like they're gonna work yeah so they did not work yes yeah this this is what i used to use too and i used to cover my face a lot with makeup but now i don't wear makeup no more but guys until the next video thank you guys so much for watching and if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed please imagine you subscribe like leave me a comment and don't forget to share thank you guys so much until the next video i'm going to show you guys how i use them thank you guys so much for watching bye